Claro, uh, and Attorney Bautista can reply to this. In 1996, February 1996, you were issued an American passport. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Lopez? Uh, I, I don't recall, Your Honor, uh, when, when my... Yes, but it would be some... It does, doesn't have to be exact, but it was sometime in the mid-90s, Mr. Lopez, that you were given a passport. Uh, I mean, a renewal of the U.S. passport. Oh, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to just read, and Mr. Lopez and Tony Bautista can reply to this. In one of the conditions in the application of a U.S. passport, in the acts or conditions, and if I may read, Mr. Chair, for the record, if any of the below-mentioned acts or conditions have been performed by or applied to the, ap to the applicant, the portion which applies should be lined out and a supplementary explanatory statement under oath or affirmation by the applicant should be attached and made a part of this application. Ito na po yung quote. Application for a U.S. passport. I have not, since acquiring United States citizenship, nationality, been naturalized as a citizen of a foreign state, taken an oath or made an affirmation or other formal declaration of allegiance to a foreign state, entered or served in the armed forces of a foreign state, accepted or performed the duties of any formal renunciation of or been convicted by a court or court-martialed of competent jurisdiction of committing any act of treason against or attempting by force to overthrow or bearing arm against the United States or conspiring to overthrow, put down, or to destroy by force the government of the United States. Ang act and condition po na to sa pag-apply ng U.S. passport only means that you are giving allegiance to the United States and no other foreign state. Very clear. Uh, again, Attorney Bowles, this can answer. If you sign this application and you are given a passport, therefore, you are repudiating any other citizenship and you're saying that you're giving your sole allegiance to the United States of America, Mr. S Mr. Chairman. Uh, Attorney Ayo, respond, Your Honor. Attorney Bautista, you're recognized. Salamat po, no? Maliwanag po sa Commonwealth Act number 63. Nakalista po doon yung modes by which Philippine citizenship may be lost. Number one po, naturalization in a foreign country. Maliwanag po na Mr. Lopez was never naturalized. Bautista, po, Mr. Bautista, like, if I may again call your attention, when he applied for a renewal in 1996, he signed as part of the application the part on acts or conditions. And if I may read the, the particular phrase that you have not made an affirmation or other formal declaration of allegiance to a foreign state, which will be construed, Tony Bautista, that you have sole allegiance to the United States of America. Kaya po tinanong ko yung application ng Philippine passport. Kasi eh, wala hong ganun eh. Pero sa U.S. passport nung nag-apply noong 1996 and even before that, very clear that part of that condition is you will have sole allegiance to the United States of America. Uh, ang sagot ko po doon, hindi po tayo dalabhasa sa American law dahil we are Philippine lawyers. Ang sinasabi ko lang po that under our law, he never lost his citizenship when he applied for or obtain foreign passports. Mr. Chairman, the best Maliwanag evidence is the document itself. The signed document is the best evidence. I don't think we should be arguing on that matter now. I think that if there is an application for a passport renewal, we should get a copy of the same. 
so that uh, we know what, or at least a copy of the form signed, so that we don't have to argue on the, ben on the, on the merits of the said document, Mr. Chairman. Thank, Thank you, uh, Kong Boeing. Thank you that, Congressman Kong Rimulia. Maybe all we have to do is download the application the of yes. the form of, uh, for, for uh, the renewal of the U.S. passport, uh, Mr. Chairman. So again, I just wanted to clarify that. Pwede po niyong i-download dyan, makikita po yan ang lahat ng tao. Pag ikaw ay nag-apply ng renewal, kung ikaw ay U.S. citizen, parte ng kondisyon doon ay wala kang pagkampe o wala kang pagkilala sa ibang bansa o sa ibang gobyerno, kung di ang gobyerno at ang bansa ng Estados Unidos. I may now go back to my second point. Doon po sa ating constitution, and it was read by Attorney Bautista earlier, the ownership and management of mass media shall be limited to citizens of the Philippines or to corporations, cooperatives, or associations wholly owned and managed by such citizens. From, ano, from uh, 1986. Your mic is on. <laughs> so, I read now section 11 of general provisions. Tiningnan ko po yung definition ng word na wholly Wholly, wholly owned and managed by such citizens. And ang definition po niya is entirely, fully. Under the Webster, Merriam-Webster Dictionary definition, it is full or entire or completely. Kaya, again, on two points, I maintain my position that the question of citizenship is not just a question of whether you are a dual citizen na yan po ang pinagdidibatihan ngayon, tanggap na Pilipino ka, pero ikaw din ay Amerikano, at yung pong question ng citizenship sa allegiance. Yung una pong tanong ko sa passport, yun po yung sa allegiance. Ito pong tanong ko pangalawa, dun sa general provisions, yung definition ng wholly owned and managed provision. Now, I go back to my my question on ownership. Mr. Lopez, from 1986 to 2020, how many shares do you own? Magmula po nung panahon ng 1986 nung kayo po'y umuwi at uh, pinatakbo na po ang ABS-CBN, gano'n kalaki ang parte ng inyong pagmamayari sa korporasyon? Uh, Your Honor, I don't have that number with me right now. It is not... Uh significant number uh, I, most of the shares are I, I got is from the employee stock ownership plan of uh, ABS-CBN it, it is it's not a significant uh, statistically significant number the the ownership of uh, the family is through uh, Lopez Holdings and through Lopez Inc uh, that that holds 56 uh, percent of ABS-CBN uh, individually uh, all of us perhaps own shares of stock, but none of them are significant, uh, statistically significant po. Opo. So kung ito po i-aayusin, kunyari yun, yung meron sa Lopez Holdings, meron sa sarili ninyo, more or less so, ilang kayang percent ang lalabas po dito? Uh, uh, yung sa akin... Si Eric Kiason. Uh, perhaps uh, Eric Kiason... Uh, can answer this question, Eric. Mr. Yason, you're recognized. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. I don't have that information right now. But I could, we could submit that. Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. Chair. Uh, submit na lang next time, but. So we, yeah, and me, uh, yes. Part of the anyway, the request is to get. And from 1986 to. The current Mr. Chairman, I understand that the uh, Mr. Gabi Lopez is already Chairman Emeritus, but from '86 to the year 2020, what positions have you uh, have you undertaken as part of management of ABS-CBN? Naka, um, paki-unmute lang yung device ni Mr. Lopez, please. Paki-mute. Uh, 
if I recall correctly, I started as a CFO. Uh, then I became general manager. Then I became president. And then I became chief executive. Uh, I retired um, as chief executive when I turned 60. Uh, and I retired from being a chairman when I turned 65. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, again, uh, we would like to thank Mr. Gabi Lopez for giving us the time and to answer the questions. Isang tanong lang po, Mr. Lopez, you may or may not answer uh, this question. Pero, uh, again, people are, everyone have, has, they have, have been telling you that, you know, we know that it is not your fault. Hindi niyo po kasalanan na kayo po ay isang uh, American citizen dahil doon kayo pinanganak. At hindi nyo rin kasalanan na kayo naging Pilipino. Dahil po ang mga magulang nyo ay Pilipino. Kung doon po sa pagdaan ng panahon, uh, hindi nyo pa po naisip na mag-renounce ng American citizenship para maging buong kabuwang Pilipino na po ang inyong maging citizenship, uh, Mr. Lopez? Yes, I, I have considered it. Uh, but, you know, I, the, the way I see it, I am uh, first and foremost uh, Filipino. I will live, I will die in the Philippines. Uh, that is certainly been uh, uh, the family's uh, uh, position. And we are seven generations of Lopez's in the Philippines. I, I, frankly, the issue of being a dual citizen is not even something that I think about. Uh, I know in my heart I am a Filipino. And, and, all my actions uh, in the last 35 years, I've been associated with ABS, CBN, has, has been with the service of the Filipino in my mind. So, you, you are right. It is something that I should have considered, but it was never something that I felt was an issue in terms of any of my actions. Uh, if, if it, if it be, came down to uh, conflict of interest, I, I would give up my U.S. citizenship with, in a minute. So, thank you, Mr. Lopez. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, Diyan na po magtatapos yung first round natin. But before